hello guys welcome to my channel it's a lady nazi if you're new here please subscribe so today i'm going to show you how to make natural locks with punish without the contours firstly you start by making the tuck out their whole head you can all see the way i'm doing i'm making the tuck out you can even call them matuta <laughs> for those who doesn't know what are tuck out they are matuta guys so i put the tuck out then I extend my tuck out with the Spanish. You can all see that by twisting it. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm using a short Spanish and I, while I'll be crocheting the, my tuck out, I want the Spanish to appear at the end, almost at the end of the lock. After, you can all see the way I'm twisting it. <coughs> you can even start, then you tie the, the canot to allow not the Spanish to come out. You can all see that. You can even start the tuck out with the Spanish. So after finishing the tuck out, you can all see, make sure your tuck outs are very neat and clear. So that while you'll be crocheting, your looks will look very clean and neat. Then you take your natural locks. You can all see that I'm using number 133 over there. One pack it has 36 pieces it's very fair 36 pieces then you take one piece you crochet it to one tuck out you can all see the way i'm doing it then while you crochet you put you take the other side the crochet the lock and the tuck out you pull them the other side then you pull the tuck out and the lock, the opposite side to tight the lock, the tuck out to be tight. Then you crochet the tuck out inside the lock to hide it. You can all see what I'm doing, guys. I'm just trying to explain so that you can understand, but you can also see it, what I'm doing. It's very easy and very fast. Make sure you crochet it until where you have plated it to so that the while well, you leave the small piece of the sponge to be seen outside the lock see that it's a very easy and very fast i'll see i'm done with that i've left um a small piece outside so that the appearance of the spanish must be seen eh? So I'm going to show you how I normally crochet. The, I normally crochet the whole head first, then I'll come to tuck them inside the lock later. It makes my work easier. Well, when I do this, the whole head, then I will come back to to tuck them inside. It's very easy and very fast. You can also try that. That's my secret. <laughs> I normally do that. You see the way I'm doing the crochet. It's very easy, very easy. Then you put them the opposite side, the other one, the other side, the other one, the other side. <laughs> the tuck out and the lock to make the canot tight. You can all see that. You can all see. Guys, this work is very easy and very fast and very neat. And they are not even heavy. See, I'm done with my work. I've already tucked them inside the locks. And I told you, they are very neat. See, see the way they are very neat, guys. Oh, la, la. See the Spanish. I didn't put much Spanish, a lot of them, because my client didn't want a lot of Spanish. So we just put nini little kidogo spanish so guys see the final results kai i promise you these braids or can i call the okay these locks are very very pretty and they are very easy to plate guys see the way my client is tiny she looks tiny and gorgeous and the spanish they are not a lot even me i liked them because they are not bulky can all see that you can all see that guys she looks very beautiful and i promise you it's a very easy and very fast guys this is the end result so please guys i hope you enjoy the video try it at home try wherever you are try it guys 
if you really want anything please comment on the section below tell me what do you think i love you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe love you bye